Hey guys, so Pinterest just released their UI library that they use for React and I took a look at it and I was just really inspired to set up my own UI library uh, for the project that I'm working on and to build kind of components like they do. And just as a side note, if you're new to React or if you are trying to find some good examples, this repository is very good. Go take a look at this page, packages, and just come look at some of the components for these. Um, they're well written and they're in React and uh, you can kind of see how to build a lot of the components that you would need for a web application uh, in React and styled well too. So I've been meaning to set up Storyboard uh, or Storybook I mean, which is a application to kind of help you visualize your components and isolate them off. So I tried setting that up because I wanted to use that for my UI library to just be able to see the components I was creating. And I had a real rough time trying to set this guy up. So here's Storybook. So what I wanted to show you guys is how to I, I finally got it set up. Probably took me half the day to do. Um, just to get it set up without, with just like regular JavaScript was difficult. And then I wanted to use it with TypeScript and then I wanted to use it with emotion and that just added complications but I finally got it so we're gonna dive in how to actually do this and now the project I'm gonna be adding this to is uh, my boilerplate that I uh, had for TypeScript and emotion for create react app but uh, this is valid for any project you have if you wanna just you can just stop when I get to the uh, TypeScript part if you just want to see how to do this with emotion and storybook um, but I'll also show you how to get this with TypeScript alright so let's take a look so first what I did was run uh, get storybook in my repository of my project and that'll go and kind of just like auto, auto configure some stuff create some folders and download some things so here's the project and this is what it downloads for you these four packages right here but there's some other things you need to make sure you have um, first thing is types so this is only valid if you want to use TypeScript uh, but download these types right here so this package for that'll add types for storebook now it doesn't cover everything which sucks um, there might be other packages but I couldn't find anything else besides this but this covers at least some of storybook now other thing you need to make sure have Babel core. Um, I use Babel preset inv, and then I was using uh, this bridge for Babel core. I needed that, and I also needed Babel loader. Now the versions of these might change, but make sure at least if you're in uh, this range of versions, you're going to need uh, eight for Babel loader, and then for Babel core. Notice this one's at beta seven, and this is the bridge, and then I'm doing app Babel for these. Okay, so like this might change, but if you're using Babel, make sure all the Babel things are the right version because you can run into trouble having Babel core be different than your Babel loader um, version and it just is, gets awful real fast. And then also make sure you have the Babel plugin for Emotion if you want to use Emotion. Okay, so once you have those packages installed, um, what will happen is there will be a dot .storybook um, folder that's created for you. Now inside of that there's going to be an add-on such as and by the way when you run the git storybook that's how this is added. So here is add-on such as this has uh, nothing had to change there and the config I changed a few things in the config so first thing I changed dot js to dot tsx because I'm going to be writing my files in TypeScript and then they had it um, in a different directory like stories or something. Uh, for me, I wanted to go inside of source. So source and a folder called UI is where I wanted it. So I just changed the location of this and I'm looking for all files that have the dot stories.tsx. So here is my story, but we'll get to that in a second. So that's what I changed in the config. Now I added a new file to the dot storybook called webpack.config.js. Now this is where I changed some stuff to get the configuration working. So first off, how it works is this gen default config with the base config and the env 
what that does is this is the default webpack configuration that Storybook uses. But you can modify it and as you see here, that's what I actually do. So first off, off the bat, since I wanna use TypeScript, I need to tell webpack, hey, we're resolving TS and TSX um, files. And then next, um, the first rule is Babel loader. And now by default, it's only looking for, I think, JavaScript files, because Storybook is not using TypeScript. So I need to tell it to look for TypeScript and TSX files um, as well. And then I just added the preset. For some reason, this was missing for me. It, this might not be missing for you, but it didn't have the pre preset inv for Babel loader. Um, it does go ahead and load your .babelrc, so it will pick up the emotion plugin if you have the .babelrc. Next up, I'm adding the TypeScript loader because by default it's not in there. Um, I'm putting transpile only so it doesn't check types, um, but again, if you wanted to check types, it could. Um, I'm pretty much just checking the types myself. And then I'm including my source directory and then uh, just using the TypeScript loader. And you could also use uh, awesome TypeScript loader here as well if you prefer that one, uh, which I think is a little bit better, but I already had TypeScript loader in this project, so I didn't wanna install another package just for nothing. And then of course, we're looking for TS and TSX files. And then just a quick tip, if you guys are having trouble with this, I talked about this before when I worked on this uh, for the config overrides. I would just json.stringify the config file and then put that in a json formatter to look at uh, and just console log this when I was having trouble to take a look at what the uh, webpack file looks like. So you don't actually need that but it helps when debugging so you can see what's going on. And notice I also unshifted this in rules. What unshift does is add it to the beginning of the list and the reason for that is webpack loads right to left or in this case, there's a bunch of rules. It loads the last rule first. So TS loader is the last thing I want to load. I want Babel loader to go first. So Babel loader is gonna be uh, rule number one after we unshift, right? Cause TS loader is gonna go in front of it. So what it'll end up being is we're gonna have TS loader and then Babel loader. And then we have some other stuff like file loader or whatnot but uh, it goes right to left, so Babel loader will go first, and then TS loader at the uh, very end. Okay, so this setup got me uh, able to compile stuff okay, so awesome. Let's take a look. This is kind of how I want to uh, set up my UI library. I'm gonna create a folder for each component, and then in the folder I'll have like an index.tsx, where in here I'll go ahead and put my uh, button here or you know whatever component I'm creating and then in button.stories uh, over here this is where I'll actually have the story for the button so here standard stuff is going on here right if you're familiar with storybook and also I haven't used it too much but uh, I plan on making a tutorial further in the future on storybook and how that works um, as I get to use it more so other weird thing is I am having to add these TSLint disable lines because by default these are not loaded, they're dev dependencies. So you can either move these to regular dependencies or I'm just going to put TSLint disable for now. Uh, and then notice I am importing at star react. And you'll notice I have no TSLint errors. So the reason for this is one, I imported the uh, type or download the type and then two, I create a storybook.d.ts um, over here in a folder called types and I declared two modules. So if you didn't know, you can actually do a star in your declare modules and this takes care of these two types for me. Um, uh, not in webpack, we don't care about webpack. Uh, index this. So these two uh, were taken care of by that add on star and then react demo. So these are the ones that don't have TypeScript types, so we just declare module for them. But yeah, so that's it. That's storyboard uh, or storybook and how to get it set up. And then this is what it looks like. Um, and we can see react motion is making the button red. So sweet, it did indeed work um, and load. But yeah, uh, 
you might get you guys might have some trouble setting this up take a look at this repository and use it as a tool take a look at my webpack config and uh, my big tip for you guys is to json uh, stringify and console log when trying to deal with this but yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching